Good morning. Uh, great to join you from the House of Commons this morning. Um, I think, look, today shows that the plan is working. We have turned a corner on inflation, and that means that we can start to uh, look at the conditions for boosting growth, which is ultimately what we all want to see. However, to your point, we are absolutely not complacent. We never have been. We've always said that we have to work with the Bank of England, who have the principal lever to bring inflation down through interest rates. We have to ensure that our fiscal policy aligns with that monetary policy to keep it going down to the target of 2%. Now, the good thing is that a lot of the forecasts from the OBR and the Bank of England suggest that we will go back down to 2% uh, by the end of the spring, but we are absolutely not, not complacent whatsoever. What do you make of the pressure still coming through from the labour market? And if you look at wages, uh, roughly been averaging about 6% on an annual basis, still too hot, it would seem, as we talk about wage price spirals. Well, I think real wages have increased um, uh, for seven consecutive uh, months now, which is good for workers. And we have been clear as a government, we want to support work. We want to make sure that work always pays. That's why we cut national insurance contributions at the budget, uh, you know, just a short time ago for, I think, 29 million workers. But clearly that has an impact on uh, the resilience of demand in the economy, which in turn uh, could have an impact on inflation. So as I say, we are mindful of this. We are co constantly uh, reviewing uh, what we are doing in terms of policy development, but also not exacerbating inflation. And if you look at the budget the Chancellor announced um, just a short time ago, the OBR were very clear that that package of measures uh, would reduce inflation by 0.2%. So at all times, we're making sure that we're not exacerbating inflation uh, and that we are implementing policies that will help to bring inflation down overall. Yeah, Gareth, good morning to you. I mean, if, if, if one looks at the fiscal perspective here and you trying to help the uh, Bank of England in, in any ways, do you think that it's, it's been a case of having to stay disciplined? And I mean, do you think that you've been able to do that in this time, staying disciplined in terms of spending? So uh, just look at what the, the IMF have said, right? They they said um, you know, fairly consistently that this government has taken decisive action to bear down on inflation and to support the Bank of England. That has, I'm afraid, meant quite difficult decisions in government, whether it comes to things like public sector pay or on uh, spending and particularly on borrowing. Uh, this is a key factor, as we know. And so, yes, we have had to make some some difficult decisions. But I think today's data shows that, as I said, inflation, we are turning a corner on it, which allows us to then focus on creating the environment for greater growth, which is what we all want to see. Again, the IMF have been clear. They forecast the UK to grow faster than Germany, France and Italy over the next forecast period, the next five years. Uh, but we have to make sure that the policies we're implementing to grow our economy, whether it's on workforce participation or creating an environment for greater business investment, that we can go forward. It's a balancing act, but we think we've got the balance right.